And as a professional dancer, um, do you think there is enough support through governments? Um, I have to say, um, I think um, in general, governments can always do more for artists because um, you, you you saw it, I think, in 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 this pandemic. I mean, this pandemic was probably uh, the you know the, the the final test about how how artists are considered in the in the whole in, in society as a whole. And um, so I, I think that a lot of uh, a lot of that there's a lot of difficulty in in finding enough space, you know, within 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 society for this. Um, I have to say that Austria has a good um, artistic sort of culture and um, and also good culture about dance in general. So there are things that are in place that can help um, what are called the selbstständige, so the the independent dancers or independent also workers. So selbstständig just means independent. So it's just like an umbrella term. You can also be a freelance in anything. Um, but um, there are there were things in place that you know you could apply for and you 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 might receive some some help. Um, but definitely when you know for example when the first rules came out about lockdown and about what one could do or couldn't do there was always like this place in between where us dancers were so are we actually allowed to still rehearse um or we, are we not because rehearsing is considered like a like like professional so am i am i still allowed to do that am i not what what can i do so there there weren't like very clear rules um then now that we are you know we're we went just through the fourth lockdown here <laughs> so i so i think they became a little bit better at that but at the beginning there was a lot of confusion 